Danilo, can you give us your thoughts on your first week at Rangers? Yeah, my, my thoughts was uh, really good. Uh, really happy to be over here as well, finally. And then, uh, yeah, uh, when I came already, start to train with the group. And yeah, this nice feeling, you know. You seen the manager even spoke about it, very keen on this move right from the start to make it happen. What was it about the club that made you want to sign? Yeah, I mean, the, the project with the goals, uh, also what uh, we want to achieve this year. And uh, yeah, that was a key as well when my agent spoke about Rangers project and then spoke what the, the coach wants also with me. And then uh, that was excited. And then uh, also defense also helped a lot. Uh, yeah, so afterwards I was directly with our heads already in uh, Rangers. And uh, yeah, that's what was the key also to come over here and then try to achieve all the goals for the club. And yeah, this club deserves everything, so that's what we, what that was the main key, you know, that I want to join as well here. This is very impressive with the inspirational soundtrack. Did you bring that with you? What? Mm -hmm. Very inspirational with the music. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, was, uh, that was a good one. Can you I talk to us a wee bit about your speaking with the manager? What, what was the discussions with Michael Beale like and how impressive was he to speak to in, in selling the vision for the club? Well, I mean, like, uh, he was speaking with me about uh, the project, uh, how the way that he wants to play and with the team development and uh, yeah, he wants to bring with the good players, with the good quality and I think uh, yeah, what, uh, what I've been done also for in the past, uh, working hard and score goals and so I think this can contribute a lot for the, for the club and yeah, we'd work hard and then try to help the team as much as possible. So he said like with my quality and then the way that I play, it fits uh, our, our squad and uh, yeah so just do everything for for the team and for the club so this was one of the main reason that uh, we spoke about and on the way that we should play so he said uh, yeah with you like i think we can uh, yeah looking forward to to get you first and then uh, <laughs> afterwards we can talk even more about but uh, right now i'm so glad and uh, happy to be here and yeah work hard and then already in the weekend we have the first game so yeah, that's, uh, I want to show my quality and then uh, yeah, hope score a lot of goals. The manager has brought in a number of forward players. How much do you relish the competition of playing with these other attackers? And is that something that you think will help that you have so many attackers to bounce off of and, and it can help you know, spur each other on? Oh, I, I feel that it helps a lot. I think uh, every huge club has uh, a lot of competition. And then, I mean, like if you have really good bounce with each other and then of course, you can help each other to grow even more. And yeah, there's a lot of attackers, but yeah, everybody knows what they have to do and then what they can contribute in the in the club and then inside of the field. So this will help a lot us to grow even more as a club, as a, as a squad and as a footballer, you know. So yeah, this I think that's going to help us as huge. You're going into a very competitive season in terms of the league, but also European as well, this is a club that demands winning all the time. Do you enjoy that pressure on your shoulders? Is that something that you relish, the pressure of always having to deliver? I mean, with this job, it's, uh, I think since the, one that, uh, the day one that you start to want to be a football player, you already have a press on your shoulder, you know, so yeah, I mean, like, uh, I think the press a lot is more to put like a foot in, inside of your house. Then, uh, then you you play uh, with 15,000 of people, you know. But of course, you do everything for the club. You want to do your best. You want to play good. You want to score goals. You want to, yeah, do everything good, you know, to, to make everybody happy. And uh, so this, of course, is good for you to have a pressure, you know. You and then you want to show your qualities. And then, yeah, I mean, like, it's uh, it was a pleasure to be over here. You know, it was uh, it's really great. And then. Uh, um, yeah, so that's uh, that's the other thing. Yeah. Cyril Dexter is another striker that arrived this summer. He, he played at Feyenoord too. He spoke really well about you last week. Are you excited to maybe form a partnership with him? Yeah, definitely. You know, he's a great guy. And I, I was glad to meet him before when I arrived at Feyenoord and then he was already going. And uh, so we spoke a little bit, but I, I could not like, get to know him really good. And I'm really glad to, to get to know him even more. 
over here. So yeah, he's a great football player. He's a great striker that it can help and contribute a lot for for the squad and for the club. So I'm really looking forward to if the coach decide to play us together, and then I think for sure we'll have connection over there inside of the field. And yeah, we hope we score as many goals as possible. Can you say yourself. You say you want to score a lot of goals. Do you have any personal targets for the year? Any, you know, a certain amount, or is it just about the team contribution, winning trophies? What do you set yourself target-wise? Well, we are we are working hard, and uh, on my on my goal is uh, hopefully uh, we can come with, the, with a lot of wins, and at the end of the the, the year we we achieve like the the main goal that's right become champion. And that's the goal, I think, for, for me as well, is try to score many goals as possible also in this league. And it's something new for me, but uh, I mean, it's, it's, I think everywhere I, I go, it's, uh, I will give my best. I will give uh, everything that I have to, to try to help the, the team. And then also for me, uh, personality, yeah, try to win a lot of uh, trophies as many as possible as well. So, yeah, that's my personal goal. What can the fans expect as a player from you? Well, a lot of uh, uh, energy, you know, also on the way of pressing and then the energy to, to, to help the, the team to grow a lot as well. And then, uh, yeah, so those uh, those defenses expect a lot of goals, of course, and then I've been working really hard for that. So, yeah, those, those things. You know, I think the manager spent some time in Brazil coaching before. Was that at all an influence in your decision to come here? The fact you can speak your native tongue as well. Sorry? The, the manager, Michael Beale, spent some time coaching in Brazil. Is that something that was part of your decision to come here? I believe you can also speak a little bit of Brazilian Portuguese as well. Yeah, he said also about that he would be work with uh, Rogério Ceni on, on Sao Paulo. So there was also a little bit uh, on the way that uh, I decided also to, to come here. For yeah, for the project that he said to me, so that was nice because he can speak a little bit Portuguese, and he said like uh, sometimes I will teach him some other things <laughs> as well. So yeah, that's nice. And then, uh, yeah. How close are you to being 100% match fit? Can you 70, 80 percent, 90? Well, that's a good question. I uh, well, the good thing is I've been training and then uh, was on the preseason with my uh, uh, previous club, so this helped me a lot. To, to be in fit and then uh, arrive with the club with uh, a lot of energy. So I, to describe, like to say like to you that 100% uh, fit, uh, I think I can say that because uh, I've been in the whole the pre-season, like a uh, training, so that's good. So you're ready for Saturday? Is this team ready for Saturday and for the European qualifier? Yeah, definitely. I think we've uh, been working really hard and I've been watching them as well when I was my previous cl uh, club. Uh, so yeah, they did uh, good games with a really good uh, opponents. So yeah, we are looking forward for Saturday. We we are just like management with the uh, statics and some some ways of how to play. And yeah, I'm looking forward for Saturday as well, and then uh, make a first debut. Yeah. Just how big a move is this in terms of your career, in terms of where you want to go and your development as a player? Because obviously Rangers is a huge club. Put that in context. How big of a move is this for you? Well, it's uh, one of the most successful club in the Scotland. So, you know, this also can help me to grow even more. As uh, you know, if uh, you want to looking forward as well for the future, I think this is a great step as well to come to Rangers and then Scotland. And then it's a tough game. You know, it's a tough competition. So this it can help me on the yeah to get this strong, getting bigger. You know, with the more contact ways. So yeah, this is good. Guys, one more question, Stevie. Daniel, hi. Uh, I just wondered if there was a special reason why you chose number 99 in this season <laughs> the, the cup. Yeah, it's. Uh, I heard that uh, Dester has got the number nine. Uh, <laughs> so I said, like, well, I'm not going to fight for that, you know, because I just arrived on the club, you know, so it's all right. But uh, the mean is uh, my, date of, my date of birth is uh, end with the 99. And my wife, date of birth, is also end of it 99. And I also love the number nine. So that was combined. And then I also my, was my dream boy when I was playing FIFA. And uh, <laughs> I was editing all the players with 99. So that was like, okay, if there's a possibility, you know, to do it 99, I would love to. So then they said was uh, was okay with that. So that's mean a lot, you know. Thank you, guys.